Mm, yeah, no. Mm, not quite. And there you go, Indonesian. Pokemon Indonesia have just released their own unique set, Kilau Hitam, aka Black Sparkle, which combines Raging Surf and Ruler of the Black Flame into one set, which is why I've called this video Return of Indonesian Pokemon Cards. If you guys missed the intro, be sure to check it out. I am not gonna repeat myself. It's been a very long time, guys, since we since we've seen an original. Oh my gosh, the plastic's actually a bit hard to cut. Let's go ahead and take this out of the box. 30 packs, five cards per pack, and no rip tab. This is very interesting. We think that Indonesia would copy the whole rip tab um sealing process but i guess not maybe indonesia don't have that situation with the resealing i mean maybe they do but maybe they don't the rip tab is very interesting also the pack art is also very unique right over here and you know what you know what it is really box breakers don't you know open indonesian packs so also the back is very interesting there's no graphic one would think that this might be fake but it isn't and that's why i'm opening this on my channel because i do not want to hear people saying that this is fake oh yeah this is something interesting before i do a card trick there's just a little qr code there so we're just actually going to go straight into the opening we're not going to do a card trick for the sake of that and look at that we have our first art where we have lechong that is actually really cute again same card quality as the japanese cards so please keep that in mind very cool to see very happy with our first pull in art rare there should be three just like the japanese booster boxes and in these types of um booster boxes as well the sr should be guaranteed this has uh, been taking place since um star birth so please keep that in mind anything before star birth typically the sr is not guaranteed this includes the sun and moon era and certain sword and shield era cards so with indonesia there's no specific you know um there's it's not just no sr guaranteed or you know SR guaranteed it's a little bit of both so please keep that in mind no card trick just like the Korean um, packs although we should I think it would be better it's just that little you know QR code card is a little distracting but maybe I'll get used to it throughout and also this is really cute too I love this Indonesia Pokemon logo maybe that's their way of branding maybe that's their way of fighting fakes not that I've really seen any Indonesian fakes so let's take that card out and we'll just do one to the front. I think we can do it this way. We have nine tails. We have Haunter, because I did see that art rare in the second to last spot. Unless one day I pull I pull like a SR and then put it to the front. But well, hopefully not, that doesn't happen. And we have our holographic there of scissor. Yes, one thing that you guys can see too as well, the Indonesian names are the same as the English names. No, these are not weird cards, but the trainers are going to be different. For example, Rika is Muna, so that's very unique. If I can pull Rika full art, I'll be very happy. Then I'd have her in three different languages. Look at that very lovely Absol EX. Again, this is not English. This is Indonesian. The names are in English, but the text bottom here is in Indonesian. Please keep that in mind. We're going to move on to the next pack. Hopefully we'll pull a lovely either Garchomp or Charizard um, Terra card. That is not a tarot card, that is just a regular, oh my gosh, these cards are throwing me off. One to the front without that little, you know, insert there. I guess one could call that an advertisement, very different from the ones from Korea. The Korean advertisements are typically colored, but the Indonesian ones aren't. So, um, yeah, but overall, guys, I do these videos because I know stores love to reference my videos and literally copy what I say, or just put it in the description of their, you know, items on their shops. I do see that. Even some people have said directly from Crystal Collects' video, so that's very interesting to see. But, you know, I make sure to put all the facts here, guys, so you know what you're buying, you know what you're getting yourself into. And again, so yes, yeah, since these are printed in Japan, but it's not in Japanese, we're going to have the international back, so please keep that in mind. One to the front. We have um, trainer card there, Houndour, Pidgey, Tynamo. Yes, yeah, silver borders as well. Indonesian cards have always had the silver borders, unlike Korean Pokemon cards. They've transitioned from the yellow borders to these silver borders, just like the English cards. And we have the little thing there. I believe Taiwanese cards or the traditional Chinese cards also have those little inserts. Um, different parts of Asia have that, so that's very interesting. But Korea do their own thing. The only country that I haven't seen do um, the advertisements are the Japanese cards, ironically. So that's very interesting unless they've done it in the past if anyone has seen that please comment below but as far as i know i have not seen any advertisements just in these other asian language cards altaria ghastly snow runt box breakers might like these though because they'll have the english names they don't have to worry about remembering what the names are we have tyranitar ex very lovely uh tarot card from ruler of the black flame um, I think one I can think of is actually the Shiny Star V ads. Actually, now I'm recalling now with the Japanese cards. That's the only set I remember having advertisements. 
Um, they were featuring, I think, the Blastoise and the Venusaur deck and perhaps other things too. I think for a while you had codes that you could use. I forgot what they were for at this point. We have Togepi and Togekiss, so yes. So guys, it will look like English cards, the Indonesian cards, but the quality is so different. I can even feel it to the touch because I've opened um, Obsidian Flames in English comparing it to the Korean cards. If you guys want to check out that video, please do so if you want to learn about Korean cards. But this feels entirely different from the English version. It may look like English, but it isn't. And I understand why pe some people some people might think that Indonesian cards are weird, but they're not because they're printed in Japan. Since you guys love the Japanese card quality so much, Indonesian cards are a great alternative to the um, Japanese releases if you are not able to get the Japanese sets. And they're, they're fun to open. I do love the quality. You can't you know, go wrong with them. Very nice texturing on the obviously the tarot cards in this generation and also the full arts. And the lovely thing is nowadays the SR is guaranteed. We have Espion, so I am not feeling pressured with this booster box at all. Very different from Korean, which is not Chinese, guys. I keep seeing this mistake over and over again. People keep labeling Korean cards as Chinese. That is not the case. And sometimes I also see people label Indonesian as Thai. Please, again, guys, if you're not sure, please at least do a Google search. It really goes a long way if you're trying to interpret what language cards are. But yes, also guys, like I don't open Indonesian cards very often too. Shipping from Indonesia is very expensive and it takes a very long time too. Gengar, very cute actually, great for Jay. So, you know, that's why I haven't really kept up with the Indonesian openings recently, but also in the past, you know, before Starbirth, a lot of the boxes wouldn't guarantee SR. I feel like I got a lot of Wade boxes in the past, so it was a little bit discouraging keeping up with the Indonesian sets, but what made me open this set in particular is how unique it is. You know, it actually makes sense to combine Raging Surf and Obsidian, or not Obsidian Flames, Ruler of the Black Flame, because they both featured Terra Pokemon, which is really cool. Also, Terra Pokemon not of the Paldea region, Charizard and obviously Garchomp, but actually side by side they look good together in my opinion. I know the pack card is a bit weird, they did implement this before in Sh Shiny VMAX collection, but um, it is very interesting seeing them implement this once more. But I'm excited to see if we do get a secret rare, which we should. I want to see what it is. Of, of course we have a lot of full arts, there's a lot of alt arts as well. The terrible arts are also quite lovely. I don't mind pulling those as well, even though they're kind of categorized as the regular full arts as well. But the Chonk, we have Nicket, Probo Pass, and Toxtricity. We actually haven't seen an art rare for a while. We got one earlier, but we should be getting two more. And we did land a Terra, I think maybe it's just one per booster box, one to the front. But again, I like how now the sets nowadays are chock full of goodies, not just the secret rare, but the art rare. So even if you don't get the one that you want, even though it is guaranteed in a set like this, in Indonesian, at least you get the lovely art rares as well. So again, with this one to the front, it's just like the Japanese printing. It's just those advertisements are a little bit distracting. So I just, I just throw that to the side. Finizen and Ferrothorn. Okay, nothing there. As, of course, as you can see too, with this being five cards per pack, you're not guaranteed any hollow, unlike the English packs. Another big difference between the English and Indonesian. And also you get two reverse hollows in English versus Indonesian, you're not guaranteed anything. They don't even have reverse hollows until you hit the high class sets. And we have Aegislash. So yes, shiny treasures will come out in all these Asian languages, Korean, Indonesian, Chinese, etc. So expect that to happen. I know a lot of people also, when I open Japanese sets, they're concerned certain sets aren't coming out in Korean. Do not worry, it'll come out in Korean as well. I don't think Korea has really ever skipped any sets after like um, Ruby and Sapphire, or actually, no, sorry, I'm mistaken, Black and White. I thought that was a gold card for a second. It's a holographic thunderous. Who am I kidding? We're getting towards the end, maybe like, just under 10 packs left, so we're getting through this pretty well. But yes, it's very interesting to see how um, Indonesia have totally changed the format of their booster boxes. Oh yeah, Poppy's in the set too. It's actually cute how both Rika and Poppy are in the same set, because in the game, you know, they're kind of like always with each other, so it's really adorable. Jirachi, Paldea, and Ufer. Oh, very nice! Oh, so we got two Terra EX cards. This is really cool. Garchomp, one of the mascots of the booster box. Also, if you guys don't know, Garchomp's actually one of my favorite Pokemon, so very happy to see that. Hankariyasu in Korean and Gabriyasu in Japanese. Those are the names for Garchomp, if you guys didn't know already. But again, to repeat, guys, with Indonesian cards, if you're just coming in, you know, I know some people might hop into my videos a little bit later, but 
The names are going to be in English and the text. And if you've reached this part of the video and have learned something new, why not subscribe to learn more? Differences. The set number included, but also the actual text. So like if you tried to play with Indonesian cards, you'd be confused. Jay is actually celebrating in the back because let me tell you, this card's been hard to pull. I've opened a bunch of Korean booster boxes of Raging Surf and even Japanese. I have not been able to pull Groudon. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, English name, but again, Indonesian text, guys, with that Japanese card quality. So please keep that in mind. It is our second art rare very nice 183 out of 170 it's categorized in the secret rare like category but really it's an art rare as you can see with the lettering so very nice we're supposed to get one more and we have not yet hit, hit our secret rare oh i love it when it's towards the end because it builds suspense throughout the video so we have don fan electric so indonesian cards are great too if you you know aren't familiar with a lot of the pal day and pokemon you can learn through the indonesian cards if you don't want to open english you have mine and very cute and there's also a puzzle in this in this set as well okacheke love their artwork Oop, the sleeves are under or upside down but let's keep going here we have about five packs left Ooh, let's keep let's see guys let's see what we get so we got our three art rares we got two ex terror cards very nice so reminds me very much of a typical japanese booster box you have snow run Bonsley, Paldean, Claude Sire. Very nice. I thought it was just Claude Sire, but I guess at the end of Paldean there. Just like Paldean Wooper. And we have four packs left. Let's throw away that little advertisement. We have Cloth, one of the Titan Pokemon, Tynamo, Finizen, Scraggy, and Trevenant. So you guys, no hollow, no reverse hollow. Just your typical Japanese packs with five cards per pack. Third to last pack. Let's see what we can get from this one. One to the front, King Gambit. Gimme Ghoul, Bisharp. Oh yeah, Gimme Ghoul. Um, sorry. Um, oh. Wow, that is an excellent pull. Poppy special art rare. It's on every day, guys. I pull a special art rare. Very, very nice. This is like my third one I think I've ever pulled. And again, guys, just to repeat, English name. It looks just like the English one I've pulled in the past, but the text is in Indonesian and the card quality is Japanese card quality. So very nice. I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit of the texture. It's absolutely beautiful by Yorota Moriyama. Very nice. So I have three of these. I have two English. I got very lucky opening Obsidian Flames, but to pull this, I will not complain. Again, the secret rare is guaranteed. Remember that, guys. Nowadays in Indonesian. Sun and Moon and some Sword and Shield sets, just to repeat, do not guarantee them. So not every Indonesian box guarantees an SR. Please recall that. If you're going to take anything away from this video, please take that message away. So thank you guys so much for watching. We're on our last pack of Kilau Hitam Black Sparkle. Let's see what we can get. Not expecting anything anymore. We got a really good pull. Very happy with that, honestly. Would have loved the Rika SAR, but hey, Poppy is just as adorable. I would not come. That's a very cute cleffa. Shout out to Meet Virginia. And then we have Stunfisk. All right, so that's our final pack. That was a very fun box. Great to open Indonesian cards again. If you guys want to show uh, support to my channel, please check out my trainer card that I illustrated myself. If you want your own copy, please message me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video.